Alright, so this is the explanation video for Toad's Turnpike 01 slash 02. And uh, this is going to be pretty detailed, in-depth thing on how to do it all. I'm going to point out all the cues and show it with the cursor and everything. So the first thing you want to do here, uh, pick Luigi. And you're just going to want to turn around and uh, go back like this. Make sure you go into this little pull-off area here on the left side of this uh, this stripe. And uh, this only works on the Japanese 1.0 version, so you're going to be playing on N64. And uh, make sure your cartridge says NUS-JPN on it. If there's a 1 at the end, then that's not the right version. This won't work. And uh, Virtual Console is all Japanese 1.1, so that it isn't going to work. So it just needs to be done on N64 on Japanese 1.0. And after you turn around in this pull-off area, just hit the corner here where it kinks out. Pretty easy to see. Hitting the bus here is optional. And um, you're going to want to go over to this area here. And there's this pretty easy to see where you're at. There's a giant toad sign with a light post. Just go two right of the light post. So one, two right here. Just hop into this one right here. Super easy. And now you set up the first part. And when you drive around here, Make sure you get pretty close to the line like I do here. If you're further out on the track and you get the progression that you're going to need to go here, then you'll get placed on the line and have to redo this to get close to the line. That way you actually get placed in the right spot. So once you get to the spot that you want, you're going to want to just sit here for a second because of uh, we're going to try to prevent some oscillation that would screw up and uh, screw you up for the setup later down the road. So... Make sure you do an A-B spin for a second here. So from your spot, you want to sit there, and, uh, not move, A-B spin, and then you can release the A-B spin. But make sure to keep the stick neutral. You're going to need to keep the stick neutral, else this won't um, work with the uh, oscillation prevention. So just hop in there, keeping the stick neutral. And if you did everything right, you should get placed right here. And you should have the blue progression. And now what you're going to need to do is you're going to do three uh, frame backups. So charge down all the way on the stick and then press B for a frame three times each. So like I can even show an example of me doing it on my controller here. I use GameCube controller for this game, but you just. Uh, just like that, you're just you're just very, uh, very barely tapping it. And um you will be able to see it on the screen. Me backing up three times. So, just make sure you do that. And I'm going to wait till I back up here and you'll see what it looks like. So there's one, and there's two, and three. So this part's really important. You're going to want to hop to the right here. And look on this third post. Now, I zoom in here for some reason. Don't zoom in because you won't be able to see the right texture you're looking for. But once you find the texture, you're going to have an easy time finding it. Just keep hopping around until you find this very specific texture on uh, this pole here to the right of Luigi's head. But don't zoom in because you won't be able to see it. Alright, so this is, the, this is the correct texture right here. You can see that... On this post, there's two little spikes coming out on the right side. I don't know how visible it is, uh, but you should be able to see it on your OBS or on your uh, your TV. But let me see to the right of Luigi's head here. There are these two spikes coming out of the right side. If you did that, then that means you got it right. And uh, you're in the right spot. And this time, do the same thing you did before. Charge down and do uh, B presses, but do two this time. So you're going to do two B presses while charging down to go backwards a frame. So you're just going to go twice. Just got to wait for uh, me to do this here. Yep, so there's one, and there's two, and that was good, and uh, you only need to do it twice, like I said. 
But this one is crucial. You're going to want to hop to the left to get to the next spot. Don't hop right because ho of how hopping in place works. So hop to the left. You're just going to hop to the left to get to the spot. And uh, once you're here, you're um, pretty much just have a little bit left to set up for this. So you're going to want to zoom in and you're going to be looking for a very specific texture on the uh, the finish line here. So I'll wait till I get it. So just keep hopping around until you find it, and then uh, I'll point it out whenever I see it. Okay, so that's it right there. You'll see. Um, I'll rewind so that way we can see it again. You're gonna want to look right above the item uh, item box here to look for a very specific uh, pattern. Oh come on! <laughs> I want to zoom in. And uh, not zoom in, but I want to like show it. But you'll see it's uh, pretty easy to spot. Okay, so you'll know you got it because there's this little um. Can I like blow it up here? Oh no, I can't. Uh, hold on. Maybe I can. Okay, I can. So um. Yeah, what you're going to look for is you're going to look for the top of this. There's going to be a little nub here right off the finish line, and there's going to be a little circle over here. And you can just copy what it looks like here. You can even play it in like 25% speed so you can, you can see what I'm talking about here. All right, so see, um, yeah, that right there is what you're looking for. Right there. That's the that's the spot right there. So um, then you can just zoom out from there. And uh, let me uh, let me go back to uh, regular speed here. Uh. And uh, let me go back up to here so we can see this again. All right. And uh, now we're at the right spot visually, but there's a chance that this is not correct. And uh, we'll check the spot in a sec here. And how you're going to check the spot is you're going to charge left all the way. Hold it for five seconds. At least five seconds. I always do it for five to be safe. But hold all the way left for five seconds, and then you're going to just press hop a single time. So press R a single time. And we're going to check to see if uh, I got it here. Now, I sit here for like a long time, so it might take a sec here to to go through it all. But, um, yeah. I just don't want to miss anything here. I'll put it at like 2x speed so we can... Uh, and go through it quicker, but I'll rewind it if uh, I, I, I show off the jump. So we're just going to wait here and fast forward through this video. Yeah, I remember exactly why I was, uh, why I was doing this. Cause I was talking to Forrest, and uh, he said something funny, so I clipped it. All right, uh, we'll go back to regular speed here and rewind. All right, so like I said, charge all the way left for at least five seconds on the on the left stick and uh, press R to hop once. And you should jump over here now to check to see if you got the correct sub-pixel angle. So visually, this, if you match what I did on the finish line, there's a chance that the sub-pixel angle isn't correct. And you need to check it by doing this little thing here. If the subpixel is wrong, it's gonna look. There's a chance it'll look like this. So see how it's kind of on the uh, top of the wall here. It's mostly transparent, and then it's solid way above the wall and into the uh, Japanese text. That means this was wrong. And what you can just do is you can just kind of hop back to uh, position here and try to find it again. So. If you miss like I did the first time there, 
you're going to want to zoom in on the, um, here, we'll, uh, we'll speed it up a little bit. All right, so you want to, here, we'll the regular speed again. All right, so you're going to want to look again for that, uh, that spot at the, at the line. All right, so that's the uh, correct spot there. You see the little nub and then the circle uh, diagonal left of it on the uh, item box as you're looking for up here. And do the same thing. Hold left and charge and hop again if you need to. Because if you've uh, already got the subpixel the first try, which you'll see th what it, what it's going to look like, then you won't need to redo this. You can just go for it. But I'm going to show you what it actually is supposed to look like if you got it right. So once you charge and hop again, I'm actually kind of glad I missed the first time. So it shows an example of a miss so you know what to look for. But we're charging there and we're going to hop once. Okay, now see, that was wrong again because... It was uh, transparent at the top of the wall. So that was the wrong uh, subpixel again. But just keep aligning. Make sure you stay at the same place visually at the at the uh, finish line at the item box. So just like that. That's correct. And then you're going to charge again. And uh, just keep going until you get it. Now, this one, I believe, is the uh, correct one. We'll take a look. All right, so this is correct. So you know if you got the right subpixel angle here because it's solid just a little bit below the top of the wall and above the wall. So if you get this right here, this little uh, solid piece of the finish line pole at the top of the wall here, that means you got it right. And this is the correct subpixel angle here. So once you do this and see that this is right, you're going to want to charge right for at least five seconds on the stick and press R to hop back into position. So once you charge like that, just make sure, um, make sure you, okay, so now you're back into position. And now what you're going to want to do here is, this is going to be pretty tough to see, so I'm going to zoom in here on the, uh, we're going to zoom in on the, uh, the left side, right? One, two, three. Yeah. I'm going to crop it to go to, like, boom. No. No. That's still not enough. Oh. Uh, okay. This should be good, right? Yeah, so this is good here. So what you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking on... The, uh, I don't know why I can't see the cursor here. Should be able to. You're going to be looking on the left side. Um, yeah, so here. So there's this little pixel here. I'm going to pause again. There's a single, okay, you can see it now. There's a single pixel right here, this black pixel on the far left side of the line, if you're zoomed then you can see it right here, right above where the uh, finger of my cursor is. And what you need to do is you need to do a single frame A tap. So just for the same thing with the B tap, just hit it for a frame, but this time you're going to hit uh, A for a frame. And when you do hit A for a frame, then you'll see now it went from one pixel to three pixels. So like before, right here, see how it was one pixel? And now when I do the A press, which I did while the, uh, right here, you'll see boom right there. It changes the three pixels. That means you got it right. So if this is three pixels like this and you did everything else correct, then you're in the right spot. So, um, we're going to zoom back. Now we're going to go back to, uh. We're going to go back to here. Oh, wait, that's not what I wanted. Uh, we're going to go back to here and uh, pop it back out. 
All right. And um, now we're going to do the uh, actual attempt. Now, before I do the attempt, I got to explain the inputs. Yeah, make sure you just you, know, you can zoom out. I find it easier to do while zoomed out. So before I do the actual attempt here, we're going to show you what you need to do timing wise. So timing wise, I have a couple of spreadsheets here, images. Just pay attention to the, oh, you can't see it. Hold on. All right, so you're going to want to pay attention to the left column here. And these are the shroom timings. So you have about an eight second window after one of these times that you can uh, do the inputs and get the lap activation and have a one third chance at 01. But if you do it within five seconds of this next number coming, then you won't have a shot. And that's about approximate. That's what Forrest was saying. So say you're at, uh, like this attempt is at 655-ish. So at 6579, I can go any time between about here in like 703. But then if I'm at about like 704, then I'll have no shot at 02. So just do it, you know, three, you know, two or three seconds, three, two, three, four seconds after the number on the left side here. And I have more, if you take a lot of time to set this up, I have another thing I'm going to show. But if you do this, let's see, you have it all set up by five minutes and 35 seconds then um, just do it before 541, the inputs that I'm going to show in a sec. And then you have a one-third chance. And then here's some more here. They're only really pay attention to the left column numbers here. But uh, let me zoom out of here so you can, you can see it. So yeah, you're going to want to look at these here. And it shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes to set up, but if it does, then I just have this here for reference. So just take a look at these if you need to, pause it, screenshot it, whatever. And just make sure it's eight seconds after a number here, but not uh, five seconds before a number here. And this like repeats every 13 seconds, so if you miss your opportunity for the shroom window, then just wait again until the next eight second window comes up. So if you're all set up and you miss the 9.53 to uh, 10.01 window, then don't do it before... Uh, 1006 because then you wouldn't have a chance at 02. Just wait till after 1006, you would have like 1008, 1009. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. But we'll go into the uh, actual attempt here. And for the actual attempt, you're going to want to press shroom, which on N64 controller is Z. So you're going to want to do Z and A at the same time, or whatever your shroom button is. So shroom and A at the same time. And Watch it at full speed and then in slow motion. And then 14 frames after the shroom, you're going to want to flick your stick hard right in a single frame, which sounds difficult, but it's it's really not that tough to uh, get, especially once you get used to it. So you'll see I do this attempt at 657, and there's a world record right there. So, um, yeah. It's A and shroom at the same time. And then 14 frames after you do that, which is a like super slow mo attempt. So 14 frames after you do that, hold right, and then if you're lucky, you get that one and third chance. If you do it in the uh, stream window, you will get an O1, and uh, you'll have a world record. So if you ever had the dream of having your name on MKWRs.com, here's your chance. This world record isn't going anywhere. If you hit this, you have world record for life. Uh, don't get frustrated if you get a bunch of O2s. I got six O2s before I got world record here. Here's another uh, attempt. Regular speed. You're just going to want to do that. And uh, hopefully you get O1. If you get O2, just uh, just keep going. And eventually you get O1. Like this, this took me about of like correct alignment because I played it for a while it didn't have the correct alignment I didn't even realize it but I probably played it for about six hours with the right alignment just to get a one and honestly you should be able to do it faster than I did but just one more time in slow speed here a and shroom on the same frame and then 14 frames right now obviously you can't 
gauge 14 frames really in your head. Some people use a metronome. I could never do that. But you could do... Um, you, you can honestly just get a feel for it if you're too early. Then you'll bounce off the wall and then get the lap activation. If you're too late, you'll get the lap activation before you, you hit the wall. So that's how you can tell, and then you can just adjust accordingly. Or you could just like randomly go for it. It doesn't really matter. But here's one more attempt in very slow speed right here. And uh, there you go. So best of luck if you guys are going to be going for this 01. I know this video got kind of long, but I really wanted to make sure that everything was in depth. And I um, want to provide the best chance for you guys to get 01. So best of luck out there, and hope to see you on the world record page.